Tonight, Nashville leaders are condemning hate after a concerning sight in downtown Nashville. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 10. I'm Kenley Hargett. News 2's Nikki McGee has more on a demonstration some are calling downright disturbing. Apparently they had um, a lot of blood tribe insignia. Apparently that is a neo-Nazi group that is well documented um, and they were walking um, in tandem on Broadway. Nashville leaders say they're concerned following a demonstration throughout downtown Saturday. Jewish Metro Council member Jacob Koopin recalls wrapping up an East Bank walk, heading to a charity event, then immediately getting calls, making sure he was okay. My response to them was kind of sadly, you know, I'm almost used to it at this point. Um, over the summer, we experienced a number of incidences where people dropped anti-Semitic literature on people's doorsteps and it was an incident where someone painted a swastika on a building. Nashville Vice Mayor Angie Henderson calling the swastika bearing marchers not welcomed in Nashville. Meanwhile, House Majority Leader William Lambert and other Republican lawmakers also condemned the group, calling them thugs and clowns. Yet Representative Afton Bain calls for more to be done by her fellow lawmakers. I think this state emboldens the far right by the hateful rhetoric that is at the state legislature um, and by refusing to call out um, a Tennessee uh, that is very scary for a lot of communities across our state, including our Jewish communities and our Muslim communities. Both Coopin and Bain say they've been in contact with law enforcement or safety officials to keep an eye on the situation. Coopin says he still feels safe in Nashville, but urged anyone hurt or concerned by Saturday's demonstration to reach out for resources. Um, we are still a safe city. We're, we're, we are a supportive city um, and we need to all you know, have each other's backs as we go through this. 